But, second anniversary of the channel, no big deal. Just gonna sit back and enjoy some. They're ready to kill. You know, to the Viking Mobile! Oh, oh, oh. Fuck. There were some movies. Terrible movies. Movies so awful, no one would touch. Then came a Matthew. Sad little Matthew. Matthew decided these movies to watch. For every good movie, there's at least ten bad. Today's episode, Burn in 8R. Yeah, this is the second anniversary of this channel, but technically I've been uploading to YouTube since November of 2008. This is Burn in 8R, which, on top of being an embarrassing use of late speak, is also an embarrassing hive of terrible videos. Like this channel, except less ironic. My first video was titled, Some Cars. Here it is in its entirety. Good shit. So I actually filmed this sometime in the spring of 2008, and then when I started a YouTube channel and needed videos to pad it out, I just put this up. Of course, I had to follow it up with Some Cars 2, perhaps the only sequel less demanded than The Nut Job 2. At this point I had a thing going. Gotta complete the trilogy. Some Cars 3. But eventually the ideal well for sequels goes dry, so like any forward-thinking artist, I rebooted the series. See, I understood things like irony and meta-humor. I didn't understand how to make a good video, but I understood cynicism. Then I made The Floor, the secret episode. Here's the thing. A lot of videos on my channel were parodies of videos on my friend Richard's channel. Uh, but I don't have those videos for reference because Richard had the foresight to delete his channel. Uh, so I'll just have to do my best explaining the context of these jokes. Here we go. Richard had a series called The Floor, where he would just record The Floor. I'm not sure if we were brilliantly subversive or just didn't understand YouTube. So here's my joke video. God, I left these titles in way too long. What am I, Leafy? That's a relevant joke, right? I knew the guy who made The Floor series. He made this video and hated it. Through, Through. Threw it away, lost forever. That's, that's the more difficult way to spell through. What is wrong with you? But I found it. His secret is out. Do not watch if you faint at the sight of blood or are easily bored. Well, that one makes a little more sense. But then I say, CIA, FBI, and other government agencies. And that's it. It was supposed to say, are urged to continue... But some dumbass hit publish before he put that in. Of course, the joke here is kind of funny. I'm getting real serious and dramatic, and it's just a video of my floor. And the line, do not watch if you faint at the sight of blood or are easily bored, is something I could see myself using now. I'll admit, though, it probably has the best production value of any of these videos. My next series was called Random Stop Motion Videos. Because the internet in the late 2000s was all about lol random humor. Every one of these has the same problems. First, they are dead silent. No music, no sound effects, nothing. It's a little off-putting. Second, I'm pretty sure I could count the frames per second without even slowing it down. Stop motion is super intricate. It requires a lot of pictures to be taken. Even more amateurish ones look better than this. I also somehow thought that leaving the same frame up longer meant things were going slower. Third, the stories don't really make sense without me there to explain what's going on, and it's been nearly ten years. I have no clue what's happening. Take the first one I did over Star Wars. Darth Vader's head opens, and Darth Vader comes out. 
He goes to fight Yoda. Yoda wins, and Darth Vader becomes Anakin. Pretty sure that's not how it happened in the movies. Then Yoda kills him. A shit knocks his dead body into R2, and Yoda kicks his dead body away. Makes sense to me. Huh. So that's what it's like being on the other side of that. The best of these is probably Neverland Dance Party because it has the best animation. Not good, but better than anything else. And a semi-coherent story. It's about Peter Pan and a pirate having a dance-off, and then Captain Hook sings opera, and a tank shows up and blows his head off. And look, there's an actual background, and not just DVD cases. Oh, and there was a crossover between this and some cars. Uh, Infinity War something something best crossover. Hey, you guys remember when you had to use one of your thumbnails as your profile icon so you'd make a five second video with your new icon? Well, here's my awful one, full of stolen Trogdor art. In case the name Burninator wasn't obvious enough, I really liked Homestar Runner. And I referenced it constantly. Like, you think the Homestar references on this channel are bad. But on that channel, it got obnoxious. Finally, after six months of the website, I decided to branch out into sketch comedy, which makes sense. Even now, sketches are my favorite part of these videos. So here's my first one. The Shamu Wow. Haha, <laughs> SeaWorld is a disgusting corporation. It was 2009, we didn't know that yet. Anyways, I don't have anything to say about this bit. There's no good jokes. There's not even some clever joke about SeaWorld. It could have been called The Clam Wow, and the sketch wouldn't have been any different. Then there was Burninator News, an excuse to make fun of Richard some more. Oof, nice Windows Movie Maker transition. I'm prepared to show you a very long clip just to show you how bad my editing was. See, I didn't know you could take one long clip, cut it up into chunks, and make smaller clips of it. And I also didn't know you could shorten the beginning and end where I'm pressing record. So you can see me reach for the record button a lot. Hi, I'm Burninator, here with the Burninator Channel News. We're here on the topic of the iPod floor. It's apparently being recalled because it brings depression to people's lives. Let's go live with our reporter. Guy 92899. Thank you, Burninator. And yes, that's right. We're on scene here with the iPod floor killing the spree. Okay, so clearly I couldn't see myself because the screen was on the back. Like, now I can flip the screen on my camera so I can see myself, and also I understand how framing works, but back in the day, this was all guesswork. Second, I have no idea why my brother was in the shower in this video, but hey, it's my brother before he became a boring stick in the mud. He was still a dork, though. He was constantly trying to stick things in the background or make noise in all of my videos. Third, this was based on a video Richard made about an iPod that was also a floor. Yeah, the floor was a recurring motif in his videos. I have no other comments, let's continue. I hate the iPod floor. It's ruining my life. Oh! Unregistered Hypercam. Get used to it, I use this clip of an explosion with no sound effects a lot. When asked what he thought about this, creator, Lin396, would not respond until we got a hold of his email address. Then he responded. Hey, you want to write a script there, buddy? Nope, I went at this channel Scott Shaw style. No scripts. Ever. I love the iPod floor and it should live on forever. Even if it kills people. Even if it kills people. I, I didn't believe in second takes. Tune in next week to find out Lynn's TV, good or evil. I'm Bernie, signing out. My brother heavy sighing is all of us. I'm gonna skip the Lynn's TV one, it's more of the same, so let's move on to Shame Wow's false advertising. It was 2009, we were all doing Sham Wow jokes. Hello, and welcome to Burninator's Investive Record Parts. Investigate. It's not that hard of a word. 
And wow, that's some shitty lighting. I mean, I still don't have perfect lighting, but you can see my face. But that's not why I want to talk about this. This was the first video I did an impression of my friend Richard. Oh, I am Nin396. I am Asian and I cannot show my face on YouTube. And apparently I thought a Chinese accent was a French accent? Um, no it is not. It is still there. Oh, it's just invisible. I don't even think Richard had an accent. Although, I haven't talked to the dude since freshman year. Let me hit him up. Oh, hello, I am Neen396 and I cannot show my face on YouTube. You know, I, I really don't want to talk to that guy. Judge John, wrong spelling of honorable, judge of... Of what? Also, in case you can't tell, I didn't have a tripod. I was recording this by hand or just setting the camera on a shelf or something. There you have it, folks. Lin396 has been put down once again. Next week, is Lin396 losing billions of dollars? Yes, he is. Find out more next week. I'm Burninator, signing off. Thank you and good night. Do 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 Perfect ending, my dude. And then there was my favorite of these videos. Burninator News Episode 27. Hello folks, I'm Burninator, and this is Burninator's News. We have recently discovered this video of Lin396. I am Lin396. But you're a lamp. Do 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 do. I have nothing else to say, this video speaks for itself. Then there was... The Caucasianator. Not even remotely spelled correctly. See, uh, Richard had a video called The Asianator, so... <laughs> it's totally fine. And not weird at all. Burninator and Lin396 used to live in peace until Burninator made a video making fun of Lin396. Lin396 went insane making Burninator spoofs and I want candy videos. So Burninator made a robot, the Caucasianator, to get revenge. But the Caucasianator tried to take over the world. Who will stop it? Its own creator? I will destroy the world. You won't destroy the world on my wall. Yes, I will. No, you won't. 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 Oh, yeah? Well, take this. <sighs> then the cheat commandos play the most annoying song in the world. It's Aaron Carter's I Want Candy. I genuinely thought that was the worst song ever when I was younger. I mean, it's not good, but by the time I hit high school, acts like Big Time Rush and Justin Bieber were popular, so I eventually changed my mind. Then there's a super lame blooper reel. What's that, little? But my favorite part is this. Cheat Commandos, play the most annoying song in the world. This time, sung by Lin396. I want candy. 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 Give me candy. So, there's Richard's actual voice. Oh my god, who am I? Yahari Nichols? I thanked myself. I fucking thanked myself. Then there's Revenge of Lin 396 is. God damn it. I am Lin 396 and I am Asian and I can't show my face on YouTube and I am tired of it, Bernie! Tired of it! Oh, fucking excellent censorship. He kills the Caucasianator and the Burninator news host and then takes over my account. I control Burninator's account! It wasn't. I assume that was about the time Richard deleted his channel, because that's about the time I stopped doing spoofs of his videos. Then I started doing parody skits not based on Richard's videos. My first one was called The Dumb Car. Like the smart car. I mean, good concept, but the execution is a bit... obvious. Well, like, it's just a shitty car. Also, everything is shit. 
goes from 0 to 60 in 3.7 days. There is one joke in this video that almost works. Buy right now and get no money down till July 17th of 2009. Uh, because that's the day I uploaded this. Uh, and it seems it was actually a holdover character from Burninator to this channel. Uh, see, at the end of a lot of my videos, it would cut to another me, and I would comment on how stupid the video was. Which means, other Matt, you are a character that has existed since Burninator. Hey, seventeen dollars. Since you've been gone, since get you've this been guy to stop making videos. This is ridiculous. Wow, so your content is so derivative, it is even derivative of your own content. My most prevalent series was Old Person Bop. It was a parody of Kids Bop. And in an attempt to accurately parody them, I made way too many Old Person Bop videos. In fact, I release Old Person Bop 2 and 3 one day apart because of how ubiquitous Kids Bop was. Although, somehow Kids Bop 2 and 3 are no longer available. Look, I didn't understand fair use, so I'm just using entire songs over the end credits. I'm lucky only two of those videos got deleted. But my favorite is Old Person Bop 7, which is literally just the video for Old Person Bop 1, but I added me saying 7. Old Person Bop. 7. Yeah, I hated Kids Bop, and honestly, I think this was a pretty good gag. If only I gave a damn about editing or giving a single good line read. Buy now! Or audio quality. Who am I kidding? I still don't care about audio quality. There's also this running gag where every old person bop features the song Since You've Been Gone by Weird Al. I'm not sure I get it. I had a fan mail segment. Because I was a conceited moron. I think I was planning on just making up letters since the first one was fake, but I never made more than one of these. Yours truly, Matt. Some from somewhere in Texas. Matt from somewhere in Texas. I wasn't even being subtle about the fact that I wrote this. Here's a bit I actually kinda enjoy. Summer Sausage Crisps. It's like Cookie Crisp, but with summer sausage. I kind of love the non-sequitur humor, and my horrendously amateurish performances actually work a lot better here. Plus, every box comes with a special prize. <gasps> a can of refried beans! Plus, this was apparently the first video I filmed with a tripod. Cons? I still didn't understand framing, it's obvious I'm still recording every line as a separate video, and my brother and his bird are making noises through the whole thing. Summer Sausage Crisps. Yeah, it's that good! Actually, let's sidetrack and talk about the videos over on my brother's channel, Guy92899. Here's a guy. You're a guy. Here's the awesomest video in the world. Hi. And here's the giant green bean. That's a really big green bean. Eat your fucking heart out, how to basic. Here's the one video I was involved in Platypuses. Hi there, you must be here to learn about. Platypuses. Platypuses. Our man's worst friend. You might notice that it has a. tail. Like a. beaver. That is to help it. swim. Well, kids, that's all the time we have. Bye! Yo, was my brother funnier than I was? And then there was epic deaths. As I recall, these were what my friend James and I were going to use to get his dad to drive us to Blockbuster. You guys know James. He, he wrote the opening theme songs and all the Nightmare on Elm Street videos. He was the one who discovered Nine Minutes. Yeah, James and I have known each other for a long time. Let's see how epic our deaths were. No! No, this can't be- No! Lights! Fading! Room! Spinning! I 
see a light at the end of a long, long time. Shut up and die. Well, I finally figured out you could make clips shorter, but I started making them too short. Rosebud. Fuck you. Fun fact, I actually kicked James in this scene. My bad, man. And then 45 seconds of this two and a half minute video is credits. I also thanked James and myself. Time to sidetrack to the two videos we made over on James's channel. You like to rickroll online. <laughs> they think they're gonna get video of Halo Reach. No way, fuckers. This is already the most dated video. The Rickrolled Jacket. A jacket that rickrolls people. From a production standpoint, it is one of the better videos. It also has some decent jokes. You might expect to pay a hundred dollars for this type thing. But what if I told you you could have it for one cent? Wait, what? That's right, for 9,999 easy installments of one cent. It can be yours. And some very decent outfits. The other video we made was called The Cheese Grater. It was a parody of the pet egg commercials. It's, uh... But call within the next three seconds, and you'll also receive... A CD with a guy saying cheese grater over and over again. Let's hear a sample clip. Cheese grater. Cheese grater. Cheese grater. Cheese grater. Root beer. I mean cheese grater. This is so relaxing. God, I'm having a really hard time trying to explain these videos without just showing you the whole fucking thing. Back on my channel, I dropped the wheel. It's literally a commercial for the concept of the wheel. Thanks to the wheel, I am the envy of all of my neighbors. Kid, you're dorky enough. The fake lisp isn't necessary. It's just like walking, but without the walking feel, nothing's more round than the wheel. It's the wheel. And finally we get to the script that I think with a little time and effort actually could have been a really good sketch. The $17.23 store. It's like a play on the 99 cent store but with an arbitrary value attached. My biggest problem with it is that I'm clearly pretending to yell which is just kind of awkward. I'm here promoting my brand new business. The $17.23 store. Where everything $17.23. I don't know, I might try remaking this one. And now at long last, it is time for my magnum opus. Viking Man and Corn Boy. Viking Man and Corn Boy were superheroes who were called into action to fight El Sombrero Wearer and his sidekick Zebra Boy. You know, I should probably not admit to having played a character named Zebra Boy. There are some acceptable gags here. I like that James is speaking nonsense Spanish. Yo madre es un warris. Yo tengo la clase de matemáticas en la segunda hora. We the people, in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility. And the part where the subtitles are the same as what he actually says is decent. But as you can guess, the presentation is... lacking. No. <laughs> I'll be back for you, corn man! But luckily we figured it out in time for Viking Man and Corn Boy Rise of the Prequel. I'm not joking, this is by far the best presentation I ever had. It's still bad, but I was improving. Like, I love this bit that's a parody of the costume scene from Spider-Man.
This is it. So, do you guys want to know how Viking Man and Corn Boy got their powers? Do they have powers? I'm willing to bet that was part of the joke. So Corn Boy was born with his powers because his mother was a can of corn and apparently his dad played for the Dallas Mavericks. Or he was a bobblehead. I'm not sure what the implication was supposed to be. Then, immediately after meeting a stranger, he goes with the stranger to get Mexican food, and a mutton enchilada turns him into Viking Man. Also, apparently his name was just Man before. Are you okay, Man? Not Man. Viking Man! Then there's some other shit about a guy who only speaks Penguin. I don't really care about that part. There are two videos left to talk about. The first is called Google Accounts. Really? Uh, proving that even back in the day I made not very well thought out knee-jerk reaction videos to whatever bullshit YouTube was pulling. I don't know though, this might have been satire. And in fact, if I really had my way, they'd all be in hell. I really hope this was satire. And finally, there's the monkey who became a zombie, ate people's brains, and discovered cold fusion. This was a parody of all the cheesy B-movies James and I love to watch. So I've been on this bad movie kick for over seven years now. The story goes that a monkey makes a deal with the devil to become a zombie and kill people in exchange for discovering cold fusion. Actually, this might be worth trying to redo as well. It's just goofy enough. And I wouldn't upload again for two or three years, and... That video is hardly a Burninator video. We'll talk about that someday, trust me. As for these videos, you're lucky I even showed them to you. I have actually deleted a few videos off this channel just because of how bad they were. In fact, a few years ago, I tried to delete the whole channel only to find I couldn't remember the password. So here it remains, forever frozen in time, and I guess I'm glad since I can look back now and laugh. Just don't watch them, they're not worth your time. I'll give my younger self credit that he did get better with time. Plus, this actually taught me a lot about editing. I might not be making videos today without the skill set I learned making this garbage. Although, it's debatable whether or not that's even a good thing. Anyways, till next time, I'm Burninator, and this is Matt's Fun Time Bad Movie Show. Ah, uh, yeah, reviewing your own content. Super original. You're free now. Holy grim corn. Thanks, Viking, man.